the concept. Once upon a time, you are reaching a forest, and by walking the forest, you bump into an ancient lamp. The lamp has a writing on it. The script says, Sorry bro, this is a broken genie. It can only calculate the square root of a number. What a pity. Anyway, you rub the lamp and steam comes out of the lamp and forms an eternal being. This is a genie. Why did you wake me up from my 1000 year dream? What do you want more to? Oh, mighty square root calculator genie. Please let me know the square root of 5. 2.2360679775, the genie replies. In Java terminology, the hero is the caller program code, while the genie is the function. So let's see the connection and the similarities between the genies and the functions. The genie has a name. In this case, mighty square root calculator genie. And he received a piece of data. This was 5. And returned a value that was the square root of the 5. Functions have name. Functions have parameters. These are the received data. And they can return a value, which is an optional thing. So how to create functions in Java? These are functions. This is a square root function, which produces the square root of a number. And as you might see, and now understand that the main is a function as well. So both of them have names. Square root and main are the names. Both of them have parameters. The square root has a single parameter, which is double. This is the number. While the main has a parameter named args and the type is a string array. And while the square root returns a double, the main returns nothing. This is nothing, the void. And uh, while the square root returns a double, it has to specify by the return statement. After the return statement, you have to use the result. This is a double variable or it can be a double expression. How to invoke a function? You specify the name first and then in parentheses the values that will be put into the parameters. And one more remark that the variable name of the argument here inside the main doesn't have to be the same name as here the number, the parameter. But in most of the cases, the return type of the function and the type of the variable you put the return value of a function are the same. So let's see the first exercise. Let's write our first function for rolling a die. For solving this exercise, we create a new project. Java Java application project with the name 0601 roll the dice and uh, we have this main function and we will create another function so I first remove this comment part and uh, this will be public static int roll static Role. the return type is int and it requires no parameters so we tell the gene that roll the dice and we don't tell him any other data but he replies with the number on the dice okay so we are creating a random generator and then we import it and then we return return with the generated generator dot next int so next in six plus one so next in six generates a value from zero to five and plus one generates one to six okay and uh, how to use it we can print out the return value of the roll function and we can do it several times this is control plus shift plus down so i created five rolls 
So let's see the result. And as you can see, all of the values are from one to six or one to five in this case. But uh, if we retry it sometimes, then sooner or later we will get a six. Yes, a six.